Hello buddies, my name is Game Knight. This is XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I've been really looking forward to doing this. We're gonna do a new game. Command the difficulty, because I am sadistic like that. I've been asking around if I'm supposed to play on Legend. Uh, no, I'm not. Actually, people would rather like to see a proper playthrough where you uh, don't struggle too much, but where you also challenge. So it depends on what level you're on as a Let's Player. So I'm gonna go with Commander. Should be, should be possible. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Reduce beginner voiceover. And we do have these advanced options, but I'm not gonna activate any of these right now. Beta Strike increases hit points of most units. Um, basically gives you longer longer um, fights. Mission timers are increased as well. Reaper ally, skirmisher ally or templar ally. So you get these reaper or skirmisher or templar HQ and you start with one of these guys in your squad. I don't want to do that. I want to discover them. Grim Horizon. The effect of all dark events are permanent. That is horrible. Lengthy scheme, double the length of the avatar project if you don't like that affecting your game too much, that's pretty cool. Time turner, double length of mission timers. This I could see myself activate in the future, but right now we're gonna go with the vanilla experience. Precision explosives, grenades damage falls off from the center of the blast area. So this is a more realistic way of doing it, I guess. I, d I well, you, you take less damage from a grenade, I guess, if you're not at the center. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go subtitles, and I'm gonna do this Let's Play fully. Um, so we're gonna see all the cutscenes, because there might be some changes to them. We're gonna enable Iron Man, of course, and I'm not gonna enable the Lost and Abandoned. This is mostly due to the fact that you guys have submitted some characters to me uh, of the Skirmishers, Reapers and Templars, and I want to see them in-game. The problem is we only get one. If we get Mox and Gretchen, or whatever her name is, the Reaper, then there's only the Templar left until we lose one of our hero classes. And then they said it would be hard to get one. So. I'm not gonna do this. Uh, we've seen this, all of us have seen this, and uh, it should be it should be possible to do this without that. So let's continue and see what it goes. Accessing the feed now. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. Mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please! There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider. Report! So... You do 
exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Keeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity to your position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. Exciting stuff. We're heading into the city center to strike a big target. Something what? that will shake up the tranquil little utopia Advent has been building all these years. Secure the designated coordinates and neutralize all hostile contacts. Firebrand will be in the area for your extraction. Alright, thanks. We're in Municipal District of Chicago. Advent Municipal. 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 And we got a... Templar. What? I didn't... I did not tick that, guys. I did not. And three bold guys. This is probably due to the fact that no mods work with uh, War of the Chosen. Not even custom... Uh, custom... Um, what's it called? Uh, I'm still a bit shaken up, guys, from from the news of my channel being deleted. So sorry. Uh, just the the uh, custom character creation things that you can get cosmetics. Sorry, um, they have been disabled. So a lot of your guys will not look as I intended them to, due to the fact that we don't have all. The the customization options 
Okay, hey, we, uh, at least we have Archangel with us, Devin Martin, thank you very much. Let's go here. And let's head here. Get a view. Archangel. As you direct. Indeed. That is pretty cool. Oh, and we got David Martin. Reaper. He's called Reaper, but he isn't a Reaper. Confirmed. He's just the Reaper. The one and only. Let's just move up here. I don't think we're going to get spotted at this point. Man, that is cool. And he doesn't have his gun out because he's going to use his uh, blades, side blades. Oh, the problem here is if I go over here and there's a group down here, they'll actually spot us. But I kind of have to, don't I? Yeah, and they can see all the way up if needed. So this is actually the uh, speaker's podium. Wow, cool. Look at that. That's awesome. That's what we need to blow up. Let's go Roger there. No. Oh! Well, frack you. These guys make up the bulk of the Sons of God dang doodles. And well -equipped, but their obedience makes them okay. At least those two are in a pretty good spot for a grenade. Aren't they? Nope. Maybe if I could hit it like there. No. 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 There. Okay. Cool. Let's do that. That was kind of obvious. Only three. Menace one five. You're near the target position. We got the target. Okay. So we have that guy. Oh, hold on. Archangel is 45. 45 damage. And he can retreat back up here. So we got two. We got Nigel. And we got Reaper. That can deal with these guys. Heading out. But since they are not flanked. I'm thinking another grenade will be a good idea here. Grenade out. Let's do that. Bye bye. Oh no, I didn't hit that guy. Frack. Oh, kill from above gives you skill points. That's right. Position confirmed. Eighty-three though. I mean that should be possible, right? With my luck? Nope. Okay, good. <laughs> Enemy eliminated. Promotion earned. Let's see how this goes, because it could go really wrong. Top of my rage. Oh my god, that is so cool. Jeez, dude got cut in half. <laughs> you will to fear us. Focus increased. And that enables his other skills a psionic attack that deals low damage but jumps to nearby units at higher focus levels okay i really like that idea of of using skills like that that's gonna make for some really cool mods as well i think all right let's see so I think we're just gonna we're just gonna hold Overwatch. up here for a moment. Oh, we can they can see through that screen though. So let's Onward. see here. Yeah, there there they are. The advent officers seem okay. more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. You're a Time to phone? I don't know. Hit them! Yes. Good job. 
And you. Oh, buddy. Buddy. Buddy boo. That is not good. What is also not good is that I didn't put him on a watch, but see, 65, he can do that. Good job, buddy. There we go. So, Volt. Two to five. Wow, two to five? He should probably move to some heavy cover here. And uh, next turn he can advance. We march towards enlightenment. Enlightenment is key. Watch out! Oh! Jeeves. Okay. Five to six. Oh yeah, it increases his damage output. Ren damage plus one and mobility plus one and dodge plus ten. These guys are insanely good. Okay, let's see. What what's the to hit? 45, 45, and a 45. I don't think we get it any higher, but if we could hit with just one of these guys, it would be fine. Not good. Running dry. And I mean, he could, he could kill. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only if he crits. But now we can. That's awesome. Actually, let's have. Uh, oh, yeah, minion beep. <laughs> this was supposed to be a droid, but it is not. Uh, just if, if he killed it, we could just do the mission instead. But fine. 100% to hit. Do we have any cover from up here? Nope. So basically, oh, there he has some cover from that side. Let's do this. Oh my god, it looks so freaking powerful. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and an autoloader, thank you very much. Wow, that was... That was pretty cool. Minus one five, we have a limited window to act before advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Did we win due to the Templar? I maybe. Maybe. Menace one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Hey, I didn't know it could actually add Status Templars and Reapers clear. and skirmishers from the character pool. Man, that's insane. Okay, one got wounded. Mission photo! Oh my lord! Join the resistance today. That is so cool. Let's just randomize a bit. Down with Advent. I'm not gonna do this every time, but this is the first mission. Battle of Eastern US. Earth is ours and XCOM will fight for it. <laughs> no, we want we want color. Resist the Xenos. Judge, jury, executioners, join the fight. Join, join the game night. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. left in their wake. XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. Okay. So we have the picture and then the stats here. 60% most damage reaper most attacks gunner okay 
Archangel moved the furthest, but I mean, I think he dealt the most damage as well. Uh, I don't know how that is calculated. But man, I need to aim my <laughs> grenades Another a bit better next time. Beyond all expectations. Gravely impressed, Commander. Oh, soldier bonds. So this is new as well. Commander. All our soldiers develop relationships over time, but some will grow faster than others. Sending compatible soldiers on missions together will allow for their friendship to develop into strong bonds with tactical benefits. Cohesion. Okay, so it is a high compatibility. Oh, so we can see what the compatibility is with each of the characters in the group. So Nigel. Nigel and. Um, Reaper has a good relationship. He has a good relationship with both of these guys. Oh, cool. Gunner. Promote Beep in the two. Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. The Ranger. Awesome, buddy. Slash. Reaper? Some of our most advanced equipment. Specialists Hi. deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be out for combat or field medic duty. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> A protocol. Yeah. And the gunner. Oh my gosh. So cool he became a gunner. That was very fitting. I mean, he's called gunner and he is a gunner. Makes sense. Bit weird that the UI doesn't really fit here. Combat intelligence affects the rate of ability points. Build a training center. AP, okay, cool. And Archangel did not level up. Even though he got two kills. Research is on. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. A farewell. So... The first, first thing I want to go with is of course, the modular I weapons. I mean, that area of research to be getting that worry. done so we can use the stuff we find is pretty, pretty needed. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. Rover. Your work. <laughs> Commander, getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. Hi, Lily. Service. Thanks. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. 
And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you. Commander. Hi. You're welcome. Honored to meet you. I I hope you guys like that we're gonna do the all all the cutscenes, but if you don't, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, I'll skip the ones we already know. I just think it's about time uh, to to see them all so we get the entire picture. But let me know in the comments what you like, what you don't like. Uh, we're gonna get at least one flashbang and one medkit to begin with. And I wish we had a simulator for Bradford to practice on. If he crashes this ship, I might just <laughs> hand him over to Advent myself. Ah, uh, cool. It's a good idea. Resistance ring. The resistance ring allows managing covert operations, actions, and coordinating with the resistance factions. That seems pretty important, guys. But is it more important than the guerrilla tactics school? I think it is. I think getting the covert actions up is very important in this part of the game, or in this game, with the DLC and all. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Thank you. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Thank you. Much appreciated. Overgrown checkpoint. Supplies! Plotting new course. So a lot of things have changed on the uh, map as well, but we'll see that as we go along. My people understand the Hi. Value of our cooperation, Commander. The elders give us nothing more than raw materials for their design. We will take back our power and turn it against them. I greet you as an ally facing a shared enemy. My followers seek balance with the psionic forces that flow through the Earth and all its inhabitants. We channel this energy, aided by technology of our own design, to pursue justice for those who have fallen victim to the Elders and their servants. Thank you, Geist. Geist, whom I thought might be Annette. It wasn't. Unfortunately. I mean, it was a good theory, but um, it didn't stick. I'm still very curious to learn if the Chosen are actually as I thought they were, where they come from, so that's going to be very, very interesting. Okay, Templars, the Purified Teachers. This is randomly generated as well as the icon here, so that's going to be different in your game. New faction order granted. Stay with me, deeper learning. Covered actions now available in the ring, which we don't have yet. Recover loot. Form soldier bond. We will master what is rightfully ours, the power that the elder elders claim as their own. Cool. Alright, so it's okay, so oh okay. So because I did not choose to do the lost and abandoned, we get a HQ right away. Okay. I I seriously did not know that. I thought you needed to enable that in uh, in the system. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Thank you. Magnetic weapons available, but I think we're gonna go with. Um, let's see. Experimental weapons. Oh. Okay. Guys, that is... They just re recovered a number of weapons from the field that are deceptively archaic in design, but conceal uniquely powerful attributes that will... That will, that will require extensive study to understand. This is the alien hunter's weapons. 
So we don't need to wait for them to turn up. We can just research them. Wow, okay. Let's do the hybrid materials and then go on to magnetic commander. weapons I'll or maybe alien biology? I don't know. We'll try something different this time. I want to get the magnetic weapons, Strategic don't get me wrong. Located. Beneath the looming statue of an elder, we notice an overgrown security checkpoint placed at the intersection of two roads. After further inspection, the corpse of an advent security officer was discovered slumped over the small desk inside. Our engineers swept the site and recovered a number of useful system components. Increased region income. Oh. Our commander, after our recent success, members of the resistance in eastern US have brought us reports of activity that we may want to investigate. Burning convoy. Avenger plotting cool. New course. If that can do something. That's, the, that's this region, though. This is fine, I, I guess. Preview. Operation Sweaty Crone. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Roger Hellblade. Oh, very fitting. Hellblade is actually the name of a game I'm gonna stream on the 10th of October. I'm still gonna stream even though I've got banned from YouTube, even if it hasn't been fixed by then. I'm still gonna stream the game uh, in, uh, in Mental Health Awareness Day. And uh, yeah, I hope you'll join me for that. Um, so, uh, yeah. Confirm my setting course for yes. sector ten, Eastern United States. Thank you. Oh, nice music! Nice new mu music there. So we've got Squatty Beep, we've got a Hot Wire, Rookie, Squatty Grant, our Gunner, and Archangel. I think we're gonna bring two Squatties. Tumish uh, is a droid, but not really. Iron Chef, Bruce Handsome. And we're just gonna read. Let's just take Beep here and read him. 111011 launch parameter set. Initiating 42%, 100% launch completed. Unit awaiting commands. That was really simple, but pretty cool. Can't remember who did that one, but I like it. And now he is a fully grown human. Hotwire. Let's check her out. As tough as nails, commando, and a woman of few words. Prior to joining GDI, um, Sh Shai Avi. Aviv, Shai Aviv, was a member of the Israeli Mossad, where she severed, served, sorry, with distinction. When she joined the Dex Dead Six, she took on the role of tactical engineer, proving to be an invaluable asset on the battlefield when repairs or demolitions were needed. And so we become a technical or gunner. That would be pretty cool. Um, gonna remove him and bring Iron Chef. Here is Iron Chef. Let's read his bio. After the invasion and advent was established by the aliens, certain products and items were banned. Bruce didn't like it, but it wasn't serious enough in, at the beginning. They went after generators, power tools, livestock, farms, anything that could give them any, give anyone independence of the new leadership. And then it finally happened. They went after food. They started to crack down on butchers, simple bakers, and encouraged people to hand over their food and trade it in for Advent certified food and other benefits. It was a step too far for Boo, for Bruce. He started to gather all the pork, beef, chicken, and vegetables he could find, stuff them into an esky, I don't know what that is, and abandoned his home. He became an outlaw and ultimately a chef for hire. It didn't last long, the food spoiled within the week. He later impressed 
some XCOM liberators at a resistance haven who insisted he tagged along, saying that they couldn't handle another one of Central's special stews. <laughs> he agreed and left that night. Can't make an omelette without breaking a few sectoids. <laughs> created by Taddy. Thank you very much, buddy. That's a lot of fun. Australian. Cool. He's by the book. Bruce. Iron Chef. Handsome. And then we have uh, Gunner. Nigel Grant Gunner. There we go. A Briton with a massive frame. 201 centimeters and 124 kilograms. Nigel Gunner Grand is the Dead, Dead Six heavy weapon specialist. His primary weapon is a grenade launcher. He is Afro English born and raised in London's worst parts. He was second to GDI through the SBS Special Boat Service, the British equivalent of US Navy SEAL. Awesome. Got some. Uh, Special vibes there. Pretty cool. Then our Archangel, Devin Martin. Devin was 13 and an orphan living in the streets of Miami when the aliens first invaded Earth. The pods came raining down from the sky, and as everyone was running, he instead felt a tingling feeling in his hands and head. He then proceeded to run as fast away as he could from the strange aliens that appeared out of nowhere. He was eventually cornered by the aliens in an alley. Hiding behind a dumpster, he was terrified until he heard gunshot and saw green liquid spill across the narrow, narrow lane. Daring to peek from his hiding spot, he saw men and women wearing full body armor wielding assault rifles and a patch that read Vigilo Canfido. Confido. Vigilo Confido. Devon, knowing that these people were fighting against the aliens, came out and asked if he could help the soldiers. While this was happening, another alien appeared behind the soldiers, aiming its weapon. Then something happened. Devon's eyes glue, glowed a bright violet, and as the aliens proceeded to grab its head in pain. Devon collapsed on the ground. The soldiers, now realizing what he's done for them, proceeded to invite Devon to come with them. Devon agreed as long as they answered one question. Who are they? They replied, we're XCOM. Devon luckily escaped the base with some help from Central when it came under attack from the aliens. Devon then proceeded to wander for several years until he found the Templars. They... They recognized his psionic potential and offered him a position with them, recognizing that they are a serious threat to Advent. Okay. Devin agreed and he immediately began training. Thank you very much, Devin, for that awesome character. Look at him. Is he good or what? Okay. Let's check the soldier bonds here. Very high with Dendrobatus. Archangel with Nigel and Reaper. Handsome. Ooh, with Nigel. Very high compatible. She is not that compatible. Oh, okay, with Nigel. Nigel is a apparently a really uh really good guy. Okay. Let's get I wanna get he needs the grenades. She could bring the flashbang. I really don't want to get too many. Well, a healing. I mean, we still have three grenades. Let's do this. Here we go. During a recent scouting operation, our friends in the Resistance picked up readings from a massive psionic transmitter Advent just deployed in this area. 
As we understand it, destroying that transmitter while it's still connected to their network would cause catastrophic outages across the region. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And this is in the tunnels under Chicago. This is new. Awesome. Oh my god, that looks cool. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. Wait, what? Uh, uh are you serious? Oh, I need to delay the transmission by disabling power relays. Okay, so this is basically uh, the same type of mechanic from Enemy Unknown when you had the bomb placed. So where are these... Where are these things? Okay. Let's just move up a bit. We're at least concealed. Let's try going. Position confirmed. Yeah, we spotted something. Objective in range. Yeah, okay. Our readings indicate that relay is feeding energy directly into their network. If you can destroy it, it may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter. So this is a click thing, I guess. Let's move you there. The path is clear. See if there's any enemies. No. There. No, we need to destroy it. So Although they bear that's some a bit annoying. To the sectoids first encountered during the invasion. Wait. Their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Okay. So that happened. So we do need to shoot it, or hit it, with something. Got it. Move it. Let's get Iron Chef up there. Go to Covered. I would rather open up with these guys uh, being shot at than than having okay. to open up shooting at that. So please move closer. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay. Neutralize enemy targets, indeed. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Let me see. Uh, he could seven to seven to eight. Okay. So we could open up, could open up with a grenade, but there, hopefully take down the trooper. Yeah, let's try that. This is for you. Here we go. Catch. 22. No, okay. <laughs> He's like, mm, what? Okay, fine. It's good. It is good because we can flank this guy from there. Go kill this one. Here. Smack. Okay, so they have the melee vulnerability. Interim core. Thank you very much. Man, I love that. Look at that. He can just jump right back if we wanted to. So we didn't spot anyone around there. So let's go here. 
Should be fine. Oh. Famous last words. Should be fine. Being flanked here is a really, really bad idea. Let's move him over there. So either I move him out of the way. And move her there instead. To shoot. Is she still going to be flanked though? So I can see the target preview here. Well, I don't think so. Because I think the flank here is... is due to him flanking. I'm on the move. I hope it is. Bye. Yeah, the camera has Enemy definitely down. changed. For the better. Move you over there. As many in heavy cover as possible. Okay. That happened. Advent has almost cut off the transmitter from their network. We're running out of time. I freaking know. Okay, we're gonna need. A grenade here. Can we hit both? Please. Oh, come on. Okay. Then we can. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, Remove that. Oh, watch at least. Dang it. And the cover. So Hotwire has a clear shot on him. We can move you over there. And heal. Get up and get back out there. Heal up and get back out here. You just fed her with some stuff. Kill him, please. Thank you. Enemy eliminated. All right, we're going to need to do this. For the Templars. For the Templars. Whack. Oh my god. And then we have two more here. So it should it should be okay. Should be okay. I think we're just gonna leave him there. And then we can take down this one down Redis here. One five. They're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. I know. I know. Word is confirmed. Moving out. I got this. Pop! Goes the thing. Well done. As um, we had hoped, the network much. separation has been temporarily delayed. Holy smoke, Garino. One turn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That is not a lot. That is definitely not a lot. Oh, we don't see that one? Yeah, okay. He sees it from there. Rolling. Get it down. Move. Moving out. And he should Well, he could melee it. 
could shoot it as well. And then we gun for that one. Yeah, let's do that. Oh man, the pistol looks awesome. Wait, what? Looks like they called in backup. Okay. Incoming. Okay, we at least see two more. We at least see two more. Feel it's a bit dangerous though. Get the height advantage here. Move him there. Please don't discover anyone. Thank you. No, that's not the one. We can shoot this because his whole watch damage isn't that impressive. But at least he can take down those. And then we can put hot wire here. On no watch. Him on no watch. And him on no watch. So at least three. Okay, cool. Oh, jeez. Well, that's an entry point as well, I guess. Yeah, take down dudes. So good. Thank you. Because that is going to give us one turn at least to deal with... More Bawatin! More Bawatin? What do we see here? There's another two over there. So basically we could send, we could really send him in. He could jump up there, kill him. Momentum in here somewhere. So we can take down that thing. Yeah, because he's gonna be the hardest one to deal with, with the range. Man, I'm 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 loving you. I'm totally in love with the Templar. Yeah, cause going here. Well, there's a pipe here. Okay. Oh, thank God. I thought maybe he could reveal someone. Luckily, it didn't happen. Okay, we got two there to expand the time. Smack a doodle. Enemy Smack a doodle do. Promotion earned. Run oh. dry. Unlike ranks. Oh, okay. One ability point from a flanking shot. Cool. Yeah, we might as well. More time is not bad. I wish you could do this with. Every, every timed mission, just be able to increase it somehow. Maybe you can, I don't know. Three turns. So what is the deal here? Oh, okay, he needs to run over. Oh, bugger. Because that could mean there's enemies in there. And I'm not, I'm not really liking that. So what we'll do is we'll move some people up. Yeah, I think we need to move people in to get a feel for what's actually in there. The path is clear. Hopefully it is. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna move. Moving her there for now and you there the and then we might run afterwards he's gonna take that down 
Ooh, I like this mission. I really like this. Gun is dry. Heading to that location. Closing on target position now. And put him there. Okay. Oh jeez. I heard that. I heard that. Get him over this way. Open the door. Advent troops. Oh, a clear path to the objective. That's a confirmed visual on the transmitter. Plant the extra Three times. charges before they can cut it off from the network. But we can kill him in like one go. So these guys have to deal with that one trooper with really bad hit percentage. Yeah, so he's toast. Hold on. <laughs> oh, the momentum you can't use, only for movement. Okay, that's good to know. I mean, maybe you could have. Let's see if... Uh, who has the best shot percentage here? 46. I feel they are 49. He's a bit better. Okay. I'm gonna move him up. 58. Really not good. Come on. Oh. Could have. Could have. I think we'll just go because uh, he can. Yeah, we'll just go here, and then we're gonna flashbang him. Need a light? It's a bit overkill, but I don't want to get hurt. Smack, and then he can move over there. Yeah, of course. Oh, jeez. Good. <laughs> okay, so he can go in. Let's take the kill with our Templar here. Take this bet. And it looks insane. Jeez. I'm, I'm doing it. Very cool. A bit stressful, but that's what XCOM is. X4 are that well done. Is Sweaty crone. <laughs> Alright, continue. Awesome. Again, the unwarranted attacks of the so-called resistance organizations that plague our world have severely damaged critical Oh, that hurt the speaker. Delaying the delivery of valuable food and medicine to oh the yeah we are the terrorists we ask the elders to watch over all those who will now end up in need shut up most damage archangel really cool it actually shows a picture of the guys so we don't really need to uh, do a group photo every time Average cover bonus, 30%. Nice. An impressive performance, Commander. Our troop skills are improving with every deployment. Iron Chef like it sounds, became the Sniper. Engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme cool. range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Well, maybe he should be... Focused on that. We'll see. We'll see. Hardwire. Sharpshooter as well. Two sharpshooters. Our grunner. A grunner. <laughs> our gunner got um, upgraded. I think we're gonna go with the uh, redder. And Archangel got up promoted. Okay, so this is the new ability system here. 
at Corporal. So he has Rend, Volt, and Sage. Gain focus during missions. Okay, so these three are the basic ones. Then you can get you can get all the skills here apparently, um, because you can use the Soldier AP or the XCOM AP to increase. Cost ten points, so you get ten points for leveling up, uh, which means you can you can deal um, you can actually build them to get all these skills. That's pretty cool. So these uh, tie in together sometimes. Parry. When attacking with Ren, prevent all damage from the next attack instead of moving. So if you end up someplace where you know you might get shot at, you can just stay there and activate parry. But it's just one attack. Just one attack. Pretty cool. After shot, targets get struck by Volt will be easier to hit, increasing your squad's aim by 15. Amplift. Mark a single target with the Pisonic. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. It's a crazy day today, sorry. Uh, Psionic Lens that causes them to take additional 33% from a number of future single target attacks. Shadow Step do not trigger a watch or reaction fire. So this is, the XCOM bit is randomly generated per character as I get it. So this could be anything, these, and they could be placed anywhere in, in all of these slots. I don't know if three is the maximum number of XCOM skills. It might be. Amplify Aftershock. Aftershock could be really, really cool. Lasts for two turns. And affects all the units if it, uh, if it jumps. Parry is also pretty awesome. Especially considering you use Rend quite a lot. Let's go with that to begin with to increase his survivability here. Yeah, it eats up the momentum. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. New objective added. Contact the resistance in the Black Site region. Okay. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. You have Roger. Done an outstanding job leading the resistance, Commander. Man, he looks cool. Roger Hellblade. He. It seems like he's from the character pool, doesn't it? But. New orders, but Commander. But I don't. View engineers. Roger Hellblade. I think he might be. I, I wish we could go in and, and view them. The uh, see their biology. Uh, biography. Jeez. Even though he and the commander both know and trust Cato from before the war, I'm withholding my judgment for now. As much as the resistance needs our help, we need their support just as much. 
Advent's got their propaganda machine working. I'm not sure they have to do all that much convincing at this point. And I'm not That's sure I'd true. trade my freedom for a few hot meals and the cure for the common cold. Well, maybe not. But what about the terminally ill, the elderly, or the disabled? The aliens can offer them something we can't. Something most people would trade anything for. You're wrong about that, Doctor. We can offer them freedom. Even if it means they have to endure the pains of being human. I just hope they see it that way. Commander, we have a lead on the alien black site. But we'll have to rely on the local resistance to actually get us into the facility. We should try to make contact with their forces in the region as soon as possible. It's the only way we're going to find out what's behind this so-called Avatar project. Indeed. Ah, uh, whoa, engineer. Let's let's do this first because that is going to increase overall income. Avenger plotting. And we already course. started that, so I think we got time to get to that one. Another important step forward in our research. Okay, nanoscale vest is available, so this is going to be increasing our soldiers. Whoa! What the? Commander, we have made an astounding breakthrough. We must begin researching improved pistols immediately, otherwise the opportunity will be lost. Improved pistols? Oh my gosh! That's pretty cool! Breakthroughs in composite material research have allowed us to increase the caliber of our pistols without sacrificing control, improving damage output by one. That's awesome, but if we don't do it, it's gonna go away. I guess. It seems like. Let's do it. Word as soon as we have something of note. That's new. Lots of awesome new stuff in, uh, in this episode. It's a long one, I know, but I felt the first one should be pretty long to get into uh, the War of the Chosen. The results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating. Breakthroughs in... yeah, okay. What the? Things are just triggering left and right. Uh, experimental weapons. Commander, our science team had a novel idea related to experimental weapons. If we begin research immediately, we should obtain results faster than usual. If we begin another research project instead of acting on this inspiration, the opportunity will be lost. Wow, this is really this is really cool because that that really tells us or forces us to go somewhere where we might not want to. Uh, sorry, to uh, to go. That's pretty cool. Even though it, I mean, this is only two days, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the biotech and then magnetic oh, weapons. Research it's like the basic research pool I'm trying to get done first. I know it might not be the right way. An advent convoy burns in the streets of a as a crowd of wary scavengers gathers in the distance. Several dozen migrants and other civilians cautiously approach, approach as they realize our alien craft was controlled by humans. We directed the group towards the nearest haven and distributed some of the supplies to aid them in the journey. Rookies. Oh my gosh. But I want the engineer. I really, really want that engineer. Resistance rain. New covert operations available. Decrease covert operation duration if we put in a staff. Question mark. That's apparently the avatar project in, in the sea. Cool. I like it. Assign a new action. Covert actions. Commander. The factions can offer us opportunities to advance the resistance around the globe. We'll need to send away some of our troops for a number of days, but we're guaranteed to reap the benefits of our efforts when they return. You order us, Commander. We will undertake a new means of disrupting the elders and their false vision. The Solar Warriors. Oh god, that's cool. The Reapers. 
Silent Cartel. So we can go and find the skirmishes in Western Europe or the the Reapers in uh, West South Africa. Required soldier requ soldier reward plus six dodge. Add a faction hero to XCOM ranks and gain a new resistance order. Uh, yes. We're gonna send. I think we're gonna send our ranger to get the six dodge, and then we're gonna send fanatic. He's a former ISIS <laughs> cooperative that joined XCOM. We'll get into the oh oh I need to send them the background stories later on when we send them on missions. Confirm. Faction hero. Oh yeah. Uh carry on. No, we don't we don't have an engineer, do we? Oh yeah, we got Roger, of course. But he needs to excavate. Really awesome. I am loving this so far. We're gonna get another one. Continue to make the lives of my followers difficult, but with your help. This mission may prove less dangerous. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to help the purified teachers next time. That's going to be awesome. Thank you very much for coming by, guys. I am looking forward to checking out this mission with you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed sharing this experience with me. If you did, leave me a like and a comment down below. It's very much appreciated. Also, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe by joining the Nightly Buddyhood. Have a wonderful game night. Cheers and stay cool.